Rise to your feet. Let's give honor to this great country that gives us the privilege and the right to worship. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. And as Jesus taught us to pray, our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory forever. Amen. Hallelujah. Still a daughter, you're 
Dark try to hide you and steal you away. Death tried to keep you inside of the grave. The enemy fought you, he tried, but he lost. You cannot be stopped. We cried for freedom. You took out the walls. The weight of our burdens, you carry it on. Stop. Sing it with me tonight. 
all raise our hands right where we're at. Let's just raise our hands. The Spirit of God is, is moving and stirring in our midst. The presence of the Lord is, is, is like hovering over us and in us tonight. Yes, Lord. I feel like the Holy Spirit said there's healing tonight in this sanctuary, that there's restoration tonight in the sanctuary, that he makes the crooked things straight tonight in our lives in the name of Jesus let's let's just soak uh, a few moments here with the Lord yes yes Lord. we love you we love you Holy Spirit of God Lord I ask that you just reach in as you as you're moving in through us just reach in deeper reach in deeper and uh Lord, just do these things that you desire in each and every one of us. Yes, Lord, that you're, you're actually changing our, our DNA, oh God, according to what you desire in us, Lord. Oh God, that you're healing us from the inside out of body, soul, and spirit tonight. In the name of Jesus. I, I sense the Lord is breaking off heaviness and sorrow tonight. Some of us have been carrying some heavy loads, and, and uh, I feel like the Holy Spirit is, is rejuvenating and actually setting things in order uh, and, and renewing and redoing us, even tonight, by the, by the blood of the Lamb. I just rebuke anything foul or demonic that's tried to, uh, to overwhelm you this week in the name of Jesus. That, and I just say right now that, that let sorrow and heaviness melt off of you right now. That his peace and his joy is taking over you, Lindsay, even right now. Right now. That's right. That's right. Come on. Come on, God. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. God is taking that burden off. That's right. That's right. More. What I break off of people have said to you. I break off. I break off fear off your heart and your mind right now in the name of Jesus. Yes, Lord. Yes, more. He makes all things new. He's making all things new. I don't know about you, but the Lord's been telling me to step out of the boat. invite you to join me in stepping out of the boat tonight. We're all familiar with the story of Jesus out on the water calling for Peter. Be strong in your faith, Peter. And it's on you, Peter, the rock that I will build my church. And Peter stepped out of the boat onto the water. I want to walk on the water with Jesus. Not only that, I want to dance on the waves. I want to walk on the water and I want to dance on the waves. As most of you know here that our church is stepping out in the midst of this perilous time to once and for all purchase this property here. To step out in faith to build the church on the rock of Jesus Christ. 
people I talked about in, in the world say, are you crazy? Are you crazy? You're going to buy a church in this season of COVID? Where next week, the governor could make it illegal for us to even have church again. And you're going to invest in a church? And I said to that mountain, move. And we will step out in faith in this time, in the deepest valley, in the deepest place. And we will rise up, rise up and be victorious for Christ Jesus. Because we've only got a little more time. And because that we're, what we're called to do, to step out of the boat and do that. This song we're going to do right now is a song that just Sherry does a, a beautiful job on. And I know you're going to appreciate this. It is, it is my favorite. There's my favorite verse in the song where it actually says, I'm reaching out. I'll chase you down. I dare you to believe how much I love you now. I'm reaching out. I'll chase you down. I dare you to believe how much I love you, how much Jesus loves you now. This tells me that God is always in hot pursuit of us. He'll chase you down to get us to believe just how much he loves us as his children. Psalm 23 says, surely goodness and mercy will follow, pursue, chase us all the days of our lives. And we will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. God is always faithful to not give up, nor will we. In Jesus' name, amen.
heart tonight unto the Lord. Just raise your voice in adoration and love.
There's a phrase that we hear a lot in this world, and you hear it in churches, you hear it other places, but even in the secular world, and that is, come as you are, right? You've all heard that. What does that really mean? Well, in the secular world, in the worldly view, come as you are, usually means come relaxed, right? Come dressed informally, right? Just be who you are, right? Be who you are, come as you are, and uh, don't worry about being fancy or precise, just come, right? Well, it's important to know that there are some folks that in, in the spiritual realm get that wrong. And they think that you can come as a sinner and you continue to be a sinner, right? And that you do not repent, that you do not turn from your wicked ways. That's not what Jesus is saying here, right? So... The precise phrase, come as you are, is actually not found in scripture. But again, the Bible does have a variety of verses in there, right? Which imply the same message based upon God's amazing grace. Um, Romans 13 through 13 commands us to walk honestly or decently, no longer participating in worldly lifestyle of the world. Galatians 5.13 says that we are called to liberty, but that we cannot use liberty for an, an occasion to, uh, to uh, glorify the flesh, excusing our continued sins. In, in Joel 2.32, it's important to know where the prophet is declaring the terrible judgments of the day of the Lord. God's offer of deliverance is open to whoever shall call upon the name of the Lord. Isaiah 118, God offers the invitation to come through 
even though your sins are as scarlet, and he will make them white as snow. Let me read that again. Isaiah 118. God offers the invitation to come as you are, though your sins are as scarlet, and he will make them white as snow. Revelation 22:17 is an open invitation. Come, whosoever will, let him take the water of life freely. In these and other verses, the clear implication is that even though we are sinners, God desires us to come to him as we are so that he can cleanse us. In Jesus' name. Come as you are, come and drink from the living water that flowed from his hands, flowed from his side.
Give us of our sins, Father. Just take all the darkness away right now in the name of Jesus. Yes. In this valley that we're living in, in this pandemic, Father, we rebuke it in Jesus' name. Cast it out right now in the name of Jesus. Let it be gone. Let it be finished. Come, Lord Jesus. We look forward to seeing your face, Father to holding you and having your loving arms wrapped around us, Father. Just imagine that right now. Yes, in the name of Jesus. Lord Jesus, we can't wait. We run to you, Father. We run to the Savior, to the Messiah, the finisher of our faith. We love you, Lord. We can't get enough of you, Father. We want more of you, more of you in our lives. May you manifest your persona inside of us when we speak to anyone in this world. Let them see Jesus in us, Father. Thank you, Lord. Yet we are so unworthy, Father, but you. We are so sinful, Father, but you. We are so wicked, Father, but you. Forgive us, Father. Make a way when there is no way. Shine your light into this world. Let us be transformed with a fresh anointing tonight to go in the world boldly and tell more people about your love and your promise, Father. Just thank you, Lord, for this worship tonight. Thank you for this worship team. Thank you for this congregation who all could have been someplace else tonight, but they chose to spend their valuable time with you and your presence, Father. We love you, Father. And all God's people said, Amen. Amen. Hallelujah.